Hi family, how are you? Hope all is well. How, how are you guys today? How are you guys? Now, um, this video is kind of different, but the Lord was speaking to me about motives. Motives. What are your motives? Okay, so this is not everybody's um, prophetic word. And if it's your word, um, take it back to the Holy Spirit, get confirmation by the Spirit. And um, yeah, let the Lord speak to you about it. Okay, so let me pray and go into the word of God and what the Lord is saying to someone behind the camera. Okay, praise God. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We honor you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for a brand new day. We thank you for this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Let me decrease for you to increase in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover my brothers and sisters, my kings and queens under the sound of my voice in the precious blood of Jesus. I silence the voice of the enemy in the air in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, come and have your way. Minister to me as you minister through me to your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. So guys, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, I was spending time with the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Lord was speaking to me about motives, motives, you know. Um, now, um, he was saying to me um, about motives. And then it, he took me back when I was a, a beginner walking with him, yeah. Because obviously, when you're coming from the world and you come into the kingdom of God, in the things of God, you have bad attitude, you, you have bad character, yeah? You have certain things that you've picked up from the world, okay? So then it reminded me, when he was talking to me about motives, it reminded me how the state of my heart was before I started um, um, having a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit, yeah? So then he took me to Jacob, and it's so funny because that at that time, when I had a carnal mind, it was Jacob that he took me to, the story of Jacob, okay? So now, guys, if if you can read the whole of Genesis 27, you're going to understand, okay? The Lord is talking about motives, okay? What are your motives? Because according to, um, you know, the word, it says that let your kingdom come, let your will be done, okay? So if we're not praying like that, if we're not saying let your will be done, Lord, I want to um, partner with this person, you pray, um, let your will be done, okay? You ask, can 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 I partner with this person? You pray, and then you ask for his will to be done, okay? Praise God. So now, if we go to, um, I'm going to paraphrase, guys, okay? It's, your job is to get the, the word of God yourself and read and search out the secrets, yeah, of what the Holy Spirit is trying to minister to you, if this is your word, okay? So now, if we go down to Genesis 27, 6, the plot started there, yeah. Rebecca heard a conversation between um, Isaac and Esau, okay. And then um, she went um, to tell her um, son, Jacob, that, hang on a minute, I'm paraphrasing. I heard this conversation. Your dad's nearly passing on, okay. Go and do A, B, and C. Now, um, that was in um, Genesis 9, okay. As you jump down, he, um, the mom tells um, Jacob, um, this is what you're going to do. Listen to me. This is what you're going to do. Yeah. Now, there were brothers, as you know, Rebecca had two boys, um, Jacob and Esau. Now, if you go and read yeah, the whole of 27, you understand how the mom manipulated um, the son to steal the brother's birthright. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, you know how the dad didn't know he was old. He didn't know who, who, who the son was. He thought, okay, it, it was strange. He was like, mm, but I'm feeling you, but you're not. Are you sure it's Esau? And then Jacob lied and said, yes, it's me. Go and read because there's motives there. Okay. And this is what the Lord is talking about. What are your motives? What are your motives when you're starting up a ministry? What are your motives when you want to do business with certain people? What are your motives when you even want to get close to someone? What are your motives? Now, the Lord was speaking to me about motives. Then he was saying, and he, he used, go and use the um, Genesis 27. Some of you are sitting there and thinking, why hasn't my breakthrough come, come to pass? Yeah. What are your motives? Praise God. He just gave me this. What are your motives for that baby? Yeah. Are you going to manipulate and, and, and go out and get a baby, which this is in the scriptures as well. Go out and get a baby, then come back 
and actually no it's um thank you holy spirit it's like when um sarah and um, um sarah made up her mind get um get pregnant with the maid and uh, Moses, um abraham was like no 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 i don't really want to do this but sarah her kind of carnal minded okay motives the holy spirit is saying what are your motives okay you want a baby and then you want to like do it the carnal way your motives and then you sit there and you're like oh why is not my blessing come through why does why hasn't this work for me what are your motives what's in your heart What's in your heart? Guys, seriously, this is a big one. The Lord was speaking to me and I was like, wow. And then he took me back when I was a carnal minded. But when I was coming from the world, I was terrible, you know. So um, the Lord is saying, some of my children, the reason why your blessing hasn't come is because of your motives. It's because of your motives. And that people think that, oh, okay, I repent. Uh -huh. I said, I repent. I said, but your heart is not right. God Almighty, the Lord goes by your heart. What is in your heart towards someone else? What is in your heart? Like motives. What are your motives? Guys, seriously, we sat there and the Lord was speaking to me and I was like, wow. Yeah. The motives. That's why certain people haven't jumped into their blessings. Your motives. Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you getting close to that person? Why are you, why are you like, like your motives? If you read this um, Genesis 27, that's deep because they were both brothers and it's the mother. The mother's the one that actually had the carnal, the plan, the plot. Like what the, the, what the Lord is saying today, the reason why people are not getting their blessings because of your, your, your second minding, like you've got a plan B and that you think that God is just a, a takeaway. Like, yeah, if I don't, if it doesn't go like this, um, then I'm going to do this. No, God is not like that. Yeah. God is not like that. God is straight. God is a God of order. Yeah. What are your motives? The Holy Spirit is asking you. I don't know who this video is for, but guys, check your motives, man. Check your motives. Yeah. What are your motives to be uh, monitoring people and doing what you're doing and then saying, oh, I'm a Christian, I love Jesus. But then he sees your heart. And then when, when you're going to him in the secret place, your prayers are not answered because of your motives, what you're doing, you know. And this is another thing as well. As I'm getting, um, as I'm getting around, like, like the Lord is letting me get around certain people. And then he, he shows me like, he, like people think that, Oh, I'm a Christian, so I, I can do this. I can have this. I wanna... No, God, God goes by the heart. What's in your heart? What's in your heart? Yeah, he's a faithful God. What's in your heart? If your heart ain't right, even those that, you know, you're waiting for marriage, but then you're envying someone else that's jumped in or you're criticizing people that have jumped in. The Lord is thinking, you're not ready for marriage. What's in your heart? Guys, motives, motives. Okay, so I don't want this video to be long, but I pray that you go and sit down, yeah, and you study Genesis 27. The reason why I brought in Sarah, because um, the Holy Spirit was talking, like, he put it in my spirit, Sarah, like having a baby. Some people like to go, especially in, um, um, you know, especially in, um, um, like, places like Africa, like, people like to go out and then come back and lie that, oh, you know, a miracle happened, but you know we're in the times now when god will expose every hidden secret he will expose it okay so brothers and sisters i just want to leave with you today what are your motives this is not everybody's video this is those that you're struggling of doing the right thing and then you can think that trickery because there was trickery here you know and when the mom did it she didn't understand that it was going to cost jo jacob it was going to cost uh, his relationship with his brother he had to run away he had to go through a lot of stuff because of that one decision what are your motives yeah doing what you do what are your motives yeah you you're you're envying someone you don't know how that person's been put on you don't know the story you don't know what they've been through what are your motives what are your motives yeah God wants his children to be blessed. But at the end of the day, you've got to sit down and examine yourself as the scriptures say. What are your motives, guys? So many of us are doing things in error. But then the Lord is like, uh-uh, I, I can see the heart. You can't see that person's heart. Yeah, I always say to the Lord, let your will be done. Anything I want to do, I always say, let your will be done. Or if it's not of you, take it away. That's what I say, you know. 
So guys, I love you and I pray that this is for someone, okay? I was speaking with the Holy Spirit and he was talking to me about um, um, motives. And then he took me to Genesis um, 27 and he said, look at the motives the mother had. And then Jacob was manipulated to go and do what he did. But then it cost him in the end. It cost him his brother's relationship. It cost him the, the time that he was out in the wilderness. But God was still with him. Yeah, because it didn't really come from him. But he did partake. So he had to um, pay the price, you know. But I love you guys. I pray that you're blessed. Take it back to the Holy Spirit. Yeah, if this is your word, your motives, guys. God wants you to be blessed, but he's checking your heart. Is your heart right? Why are you doing what, what you're doing? Even to the point that, you know, um, giving. Do you give with the right intentions? Are you giving with the right posture? Like everything that you're doing for the kingdom of God, is it in the will of God? Like that's what the Holy Spirit is saying. The reason why his children are not getting blessed in this season, motives. What are your motives? Okay. All right. God bless you guys to the next time. I love you. I love you. I pray that someone's blessed. I pray that this word convicts. I pray it lifts. I pray that it helps someone out there. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Love you guys. God bless you. I love you.